Hello again, let's continue with our tutorials. If you noticed, I reduced the resolution over here because for YouTube quality, I need the text to be very clear. So I really had to reduce my uh, resolution. Okay, so now that you got yourself a compiler for whatever operating system you're using, let's see how we make a program. Now, although I'll be showing you my tutorials in my Microsoft Visual Studio C++ compiler, um, everything should be pretty much the same in whatever compiler you're using, except for real um, weird cases when I guess I'll mention that. But from, for the most part, everything should be pretty much the same whatever compiler you're using. When you open it up over here, you should see a you know all these menus over here with pretty much the same options and settings somewhere or another. Here you have the central spot where, uh, as we're going to see soon, this is where you actually type in the code. Over here is where you see all the files um, of your project. And over here is where you see how things are going when compiling, if the compiling is working or not. So let's start by creating a project. A project is a neat way of storing all the files and settings and options together in one folder so that when we're ready to compile our project, everything is neatly stored in a pl neat place where we can f find them, where the compiler could find them, and where everything will be compiled and our .exe program will get ready. Now there are many types of projects which you can make. You can make a window project, which is a program which is going to be seen inside of a window like this, or you could make a console application which is like a window program but a lot simpler and is just really uh it's really just made for text output and stuff like that as we're going to see and there are other types of projects you can make a dll you can make a whole bunch of neat stuff we're going to get to that some other time so today we're going to start with simplest thing which is the console application again this type of project console application should be available on any compiler out there, whatever operating system you're using. Let's call this project tutorial one and let's get going. Here on my compiler, there's a few more options I could set. I'm just going to skip it, finish. Everything's pretty much in place. And here we go. In, here in the center, we have our text editing place, this is where we type up all of our code. Here we see all the files related to my project. Uh, as you see, it starts off with a whole bunch of files over here. This is some useful stuff which uh, my compiler generates automatically. And here we have all of our options and menus and stuff like that. So the main file which we are going to be looking at right now, which is the most important, is this one, tutorial1.cpp. A file that finishes with .cpp means that it's that file which is going to get compiled by the compiler cpp stands for c++ obviously which means a file that get that contains c++ code so here it is originally this maybe would be closed so we're going to open up this file tutorial1.cpp that's the one we just had before and let's start typing up some codes here it comes already with some codes typed in already but we're going to start from scratch so let's delete everything. Here we go. And let's get started. Since I'm using uh, Microsoft Visual C++, I need to add this extra line of code on the top. Um, if you are using it, of course, you'll also have to do this uh, unless you disable pre-compiled headers, but we'll get into that some other day. So just for now, just type up pound include open quotes std afx dot h closing quotes if you're not using microsoft visual studio don't worry about this leave this line away so ignoring that line let's start writing some real code over here try to follow exactly as i type pound include opening triangular brackets i o stream closing triangular brackets using namespace std semicolon int 
main, opening and closing parentheses, opening brace, C out, two opening triangular brackets, quote, hello world, closing quotes, semicolon, return zero, semicolon, closing brace. This is pretty much the simplest program which we could make and actually see that something worked. So, now that we typed up all of our code, let's make our program. How do we do that? Obviously, depending on whatever compiler you're using, try to find somewhere where there's the build option or the debug option or the compile option or whatever it's called in your compiler. I do it right over here or here or here or here or even here and here. So, let's see how this goes. On the bottom, as you see, he's compiling, putting everything together, and producing our .exe file. That's it. Over here, we see no errors, no warnings. Everything was good, succeeded, and our .exe file is all ready. If we go and open up the actual folder where our project is really stored, we could see over there where it is. Let's go to our real folder where it is. Projects tutorial one in the folder called debug and here we go tutorial one.exe this was just created from this compiler program over here and let's see how our program runs double click excuse that let's see again here we go debug tutorial one.exe double click whoa that was really fast it was a black window that popped up and then right away disappeared. That's because our program over here is so short that <laughs> the program actually started, did everything we asked it to do, and then finished, so it disappeared. We could add one extra line over here to make it stay for a little longer. Type cin dot get opening and closing parentheses, semicolon, and then recompile your project. Here we go, compiling, no errors, no warnings, everything's okay. Um, we could either go to the folder and run that exe, or we could just click on debug in my compiler, and he'll start the program. Here we go, this is the program that we just made. It's a black window, which is called the console window, and um, as you see it's really simple plain text type of program nothing special about it other than it says in here hello world the exact words that we typed over here we're gonna get to that a little bit later exactly why it worked and how it worked but for the meanwhile enjoy your very first program that you typed up and compiled now if you're cu curious um, that extra line that we added in the end that's cin.get well the thing that it did was it told the program to wait for us to uh, type something in. So now it's still waiting and waiting. We'll type something in, press enter, and then hold on. That's it. Make sure that you typed everything exactly as said. If you missed out one semicolon or parentheses or something, you're going to get an error somewhere wherever the compiler says his errors. Let's try to do that. Take out the semicolon over here, and then let's try to debug, compile. He's going to say one error. And the error is that it's missing a semicolon before return. See, before the word return, there is missing a semicolon. So try not to make any mistakes. And if you manage to compile and run your first program, I say congratulations.